Alright, cycle's done over here on the brother. Let's go take a look at the robo. So the question is how do we set up the hammer and the tool offsets and all that on the robo? Uh, you know, the brother's got probing and that's all automatic pretty much, tool setter. But over here we're all manual. So first things first, you're gonna want to get the length of this tool of the Heimer, you know, when it's depressed and, and at zero. And the way I found the easiest way to do that is uh, either you can use a 246 block if you have one of these uh, setters that's exactly four inch, or you can set it to exactly four inch. Uh, or if you got uh, only one, two, three blocks, you can stack those to get the four inches. Um, anyway, so I do that. So basically the top height of this one is zero over here. That's the first step. All right, so the next step here, uh, take one of the tools out of the pockets, like the Heimer, if it's in there. Change tool to that one. And take the spindle nose, and then touch it off on the setter, hit it zero, and then come over to the control, and hit position, relative, Z, Start flashing origin. So now you're zero on your relative, and we're going to use the machine to measure the length of the tools from the spindle nose. Let me switch the uh, Heimer back. All right, got the Heimer back in the pocket there. MDI program T6 and 6 on the block. Insert. So now what we have to do is put the uh, 246 block back in because obviously we can't use a height setter to get the zero on the high mark. So we do that. So zero. Then what we're going to do is come back to the control, the offset setting. And what I do for the Heimer because uh, you don't, you need to save that number, but you're not actually going to use it in the control per se. Um, I store mine at offset 400, so that's what my length was, but we'll just set it here just to see. So in order to set that, you're going to say Z, Z, input C. Oops. Right check. Try that again. Z, input C. There we go. Looks like my measurement's four tenths different than the last time I did this, which was years ago. So. Uh, there we go. So that's how we set the length of that, and actually, that's how we're going to set the length of tools. So I'm going to stop, restart, and we'll measure some tool lengths. All right, so we're going to set the height of this insert tool here. Uh, I've rotated it around, found the lowest insert. Got that set on zero. And in this case, for my program, I'm not using offset, length offset, or height offset, whatever you want to call it, uh, 12 using 60. So let's come over to our offset button and go to offset 60. Alright, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit Z and then input C. And you see that change. There you go. Two tenths difference there. And now the height is offset for that. Um, and I use a ton of these offsets because uh, I have a lot of holders and I'll set different tools that go in the machine for different programs and I don't have to reset the height since it's kind of slow doing it manually. Alright, we'll do one more tool here. Get this screw dialed in. In 
this case I'm using offset 54 for this particular tool, so offset 54, go to Z, input C, and there we go, there's our new offset. So it's all pretty much the same, you just keep doing that. And then, when you want to reset your relative, what you can do is, you use the reference point here. So if I go to position, position page, see what we're here for Z? If I hold reference, if I push reference and then I hold Z, see that? Now we're reset. So if we were going to set tools again, we'd have to take out a tool, swing it around to the spindle nose, touch off, set zero, then do it again with the position page, relative, Z, origin. Then set your tools. So it's very important you do that first. You got to tell the machine what you're referencing. All right, so to set the work offset, um, got the Heimer back in there, and say, uh, the zero is going to be top of the block there, so we got that at zero. And over here, um, I'm using a bunch of the other offsets, so we're just going to set Z0 on uh, G54P3, or G54.1P3. So the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, first we're going to go to MDI program, and let's select that offset. I'm going to get it by saying G54.1 P3 and the block insert cycle start. Alright, so now you can see that's where we are. Let's go back to the offset page, work offset, and see here's our Z. Now remember we had that length of the Heimer, so if we go to our offset button here, it was 7.1835, so let's go back to work, let's say Z, 7.1835, and hit measure. So when you hit measure, you can see Z now says minus 9.6444. That may throw you off, but trust me, that's right. And the easier way to know that is over here. See this number? If we come down and hit reset, now that's our number, our positive number. So we know that the spindle nose is 7.1835 off of our Z0. So if the nose came all the way down that amount, it'd be dead on there. So that's how we set the Z0. And if you don't put it into that offset first, you can't confirm it easily by going to, uh, by hitting reset and seeing the number. I found this, this way is the easiest way to kind of confirm what you did actually work. All right, and because we're here, I guess we'll do X and Y. So we got the Heimer on zero for X. We just come over here again. We're on the offset page. We've got X selected up here. Say X zero measure. You got your number there, and then if you hit reset, bam zero. And we do the same thing for Y, and then you got your X Y Z set. So pretty straightforward doing it that way. All right. So then, if you want to make sure you got everything set right. Uh, Low rapids here. You can do a G90, G0, G54.1, P3, X0, Y0, and the block insert. Okay. Now we can do a G43, Z.5, so half an inch above. Height offset H, and in this case it's going to be 61 for me, but that'll be 
a lot of times the same as the tool you're using. Insert. All right. And go. See, we're very slowly going to X0, Y0. We should go to Z about half inch over the part. how you know you have your work offset right and that particular tool type offset correct. Hope all that helps.